Hey there, everybody. Debbie Matinopoulos here from Hallmark Channel's Home and Family. And in honor of the new mystery release, Dead and Detective, a Piper and Porter mystery, I have a delicious berry trifle recipe for you all that is guaranteed to sweeten up anybody's day. Now, this recipe comes to us from this new mystery book from Hallmark Publishing that is such a great page turner. It'll keep you on the edge of your seat the whole time. The book is written by Amanda Flower, who happens to be a USA Today bestselling author and also the winner of the Agatha Award for mystery writing. It is so good. It begins with Darby's coworker, her fellow detective at the Two Girls Detective Agency being murdered. And who is the prime suspect, you might think? Darby, of course, you guessed it. This book has so many twists and turns and layers, almost as many layers as my delicious berry trifle that I'm gonna show you all how to make. It's super simple, it's super delicious, and you can enjoy it while you're reading the book. All right, let's get started. So the first thing I'm gonna do is separate the egg yolks from the egg whites and add them to a double boiler with a half a cup of sugar and whisk, 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 whisk until it gets really fluffy and thick. On medium heat, that's just egg yolks and sugar. And it's becoming like pudding. See that? Very thick. I've taken it off the heat and I am pouring in the orange strawberry liqueur. You whisk this together and we're gonna cover it with plastic wrap, let it cool, and then we're gonna make our whipped cream. Pouring in the heavy cream and I'm gonna whip it together to make whipped cream. What I'm gonna do is start with a whisk. You really wanna do it in a very cold bowl because it begins to work much quicker. As you can see, it's already starting to whisk up. And there it is. That's it. Our whipped cream is done and we're gonna add it to our mixture. Now you really want to put, put about a cup at first, whisk it in and then fold the rest in. Make sure your mixture is completely cooled, your egg and sugar mixture before adding your whipped cream. And keep all that air in it. You really want to fold it in to keep the air in the beautiful whipped cream that we've just made. Here's where an extra set of hands is really helpful. Thank you, Tina Matinopoulos. I appreciate you. It's basically like we've made our own pudding. And now cut your strawberries. the strawberries. So now in the blueberry and strawberry mixture that I've just combined, I'm going to add some strawberry syrup. Watch this. Now you can find your favorite strawberry syrup, whatever kind you like. Use two spoons to combine it very well. But remember, be ginger because you don't want to smush all of the fruit. So now I cube the pound cake. Make sure it's really me? thick. What did you get me? I'm showing you. You cut it into cubes. Cubes, cubes. I take the four slices away because it's more sugar. Is someone coming around for a piece of cake? Mm. Well, Hopefully there's enough pound cake to actually make the trifle. I got extra cake because I knew this would happen. Now we build. So first you do a layer of the cubed pound cake. It's really important that you have a see-through bowl to do this because the beauty of the berry trifle is to see the layers of all of the berries and the whipped cream or the pudding, whatever you're using. There we go. Then we spoon in the berries. Pound cake in, berries in, and now we put the beautiful pudding in. See how thick and beautiful that whipped cream mixture is? We begin again with the pound cake. 
And now more berries. The beauty of the trifle is really in the berry mixture. The hard part is putting it in the refrigerator and letting it chill for an hour. Tick tock, this isn't gonna be easy. Thank you all so much for joining me once again at my family's home in Virginia. This time it happened to be my sister-in-law, Tina's kitchen that I took over. So thank you so much, Tina. You're very welcome. They've been waiting patiently to eat this trifle. And you all make sure to go to amazon.com and get your very own copy of Dead End Detective, a Piper and Porter mystery, because this recipe is in there. It is so yummy. Stay safe, stay healthy, stay happy. And you know what? Eat dessert first. Oh yeah. And be sure to join us every Monday and Friday right here across all of our socials for more at home with the family. Okay, I'm going to go continue to be at home with my family. See you soon, guys.